me Samantha from SamanthaVegaMakeup.com and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a rapid review and demo on the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. This foundation retails for $43 for which you will get the standard one fluid ounce of product and this is available for purchase as far as I know from Makeup Forever's freestanding stores, Makeup Forever Online, Sephora stores, and Sephora Online as well. So before we get into the review, I just want everyone to be aware that this particular foundation was made to replace their original HD formula. So that formula is no longer available through Makeup Forever or through any of their retailers. So this is the only HD foundation that they now make. I have not tried the original formula, but I have heard that the finish of that formula was a little bit different and we'll talk about that in a minute but this is now their sole HD foundation. This foundation was specifically made to look undetectable and completely invisible under the new 4K HD lenses that they do now use for film and television. So this is supposed to be a very, very lightweight, smooth finish, very flawless and natural, but not heavy and makeup-y looking. And this actually is the foundation that I'm wearing today. And as you can see, the results are absolutely flawless. I am very, very impressed with this foundation. Now right off the bat, there are two things about the Ultra HD that are completely different from the original HD. The first one is going to be the shade range. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that there were originally 23 or so shades to choose from from the original HD formula. Now with the Ultra HD, there are 40 shades to choose from. So you are getting a huge, huge shade selection and pretty much anyone can find their match within this line. And speaking of match, my shade is Y425, which you will find on the bottom of your container. They talk about coverage when you look at the description for this online, and it says that it's going to be a medium coverage with a lightweight texture that looks just like skin. Now, I would have to definitely agree with that. I think that it looks very skin-like, it doesn't look heavy on the skin, and it is medium coverage. If you are looking for full coverage, you are not going to find it with this foundation. As you can see in the demo, I am using a beauty blender and I tested out this foundation with a brush as well as a beauty blender. I find for a more natural finish that you are going to find the best finish with that beauty blender if that's what you're going for. Now, I will advise you not to damp your beauty blender under running water. Just leave it dry and spritz it with some Fix Plus or whatever kind of setting spray or water mist of your choice because if you wet your beauty blender, you will find that it will diminish the coverage significantly and you will get little to no coverage. If you want a fuller coverage, if you want to take advantage of how full the coverage can get like the most medium out of this then I would suggest using a um, brush and I like to use a duo fiber brush something like the elf small stipple brush or the MAC 159 or the MAC 188 or 187 those are going to actually give you a really nice flawless finish but keep the integrity of that medium coverage I found that again using a stippling brush or some type of duo fiber brush this is the MAC 159 and that's what I used today the demo was from a different day um, I found that it looked the best it gave me the the most coverage but you can still see my skin like you can see my mole my mole didn't get covered um, you can kind of still see a few blemishes throughout here so it is not going to give you full coverage if you're looking for full coverage you are not going to find it with this product another thing that I wanted to point out about this foundation is the finish this is said to be a natural satin finish now I do have highlighter on on my cheeks here but you can see in the areas that I don't have highlighter I don't have any on my forehead it's still a slightly shiny or a slight sheen to it I love I love 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 the love the way that this looks now but to be completely honest with you by four or five hours from now I'm going to look really greasy if I did not use a primer and my skin type is oily so if you do have oily skin then you will definitely need to use a primer with this it's definitely not cakey it doesn't settle into any fine lines and product just seems to lay really nicely on top which I am very happy about so overall yeah I really do like this foundation 
I think that the good definitely outweighs the bad for me. Like I said, the only bad thing for me would be the fact that if I don't use a primer with this, I'm going to be a grease bucket. But other than that, everything else is perfect. So I am very happy with this foundation. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you need any more additional information, I have an in-depth review on my blog and I will leave the link to that in the description box below as well. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!